actually see and be played by Nicole Williamson, who's really good. Watch Excalibur, it's a good film. It is, yeah. It's... Patrick Stewart's in it. <laughs> Patrick St- I-, I love, like, just he- when, you know, actors get to that level, they just don't age anymore. Yeah, it's funny, that. Because, I mean, you, like, there, there was... A, there was the, the picture online that really hammered at home was there was a scene from... You keep doing that. I got stuck. Yeah. Like, I was jammed between a piece of invisible wall and a bullshit ant with a hitbox way bigger than it. You just love to die. Also, you can't kill the ants yet. Yet. Yeah, you, you get an item later. Oh, I see. you, you got to find the rent-a-kill amulet. <laughs> See, I thought, like, the match which just burns things now, you might, you know, burn an ant because you can burn ants. Or burn the, the wooden walls, that looks quite flammable. Yeah, you'd think so. All of these would make logical gameplay mechanics, but, um... Logic uh, yeah. in 16-bit console adventure RPGs. No, we won't no. have none of that. About the only logic you'll find in that is the thing goes into the the hole that is the same shape as the thing. Uh, if that. That's and I mean, look at this, like, this huge area, and it's just nothing in it. There's no, It's meaningless. Like, this whole bizarre little maze area is just... Oh, it's like Shadow of Colossus. They're trying to create an atmosphere of loneliness and tension. <laughs> well, it was, it was... And gay. <laughs> and then, Razzle Dazzle. <laughs> See? Awesome. I'm so... just wondering how this transportation process works. Are you being absorbed into the xylem and phloem. Possibly. And being carried, pushed through the roots or something. Is your body <laughs> being roots. broken down yeah. into... Like, is it a into... teleport teleport or what's, you know... I'm, I'm turned into nectarine sweetness and then the bees take me. <sighs> well, at least we're most of the way through this video. <laughs> yeah. I decided to counteract the, uh... Stark absurdity of um, Curse of Enchantia with a uh, uh, yes, with the nice stark boredom. <laughs> yes, nice stark boredom in generic fantasy land. Yeah, this is what happens when you don't have like noses to stuff hair up. <laughs> this is what the uh, this is this is <laughs> when we lose control. We need those nose things to keep us in line. Mm. Uh, you know, that's that's what'll save an otherwise completely inane and bland game is just bumfuck crazy. Yeah. At least you can talk about it. <laughs> At least you can point and say, look, that's pretty crazy. Look, a thing occurring. Are you um preparing yourself for the final battle? <laughs> no. That's no, just, just just having a few drinks before you can face Pappy Land again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at it. Look at it! It is very faffy. This place looks like a... It reminds me of when you get lost sorts. in Dream World and you turn a corner and find yourself in the bloody preschool age area. <laughs> yes, I was just Saying, kids I'm everywhere. trying to find the cyclone! <laughs> <laughs> I'm an adult, I don't want to be here. I'm getting funny looks from the mothers. <laughs> None of them are mine. No, it's okay, I'm not a rapist. Why would I look just I just want to go on Star Tours? <laughs> uh, it is funny because every now and then you'll see like adults who are like really into SpongeBob or something there. It's just like it's not fun, is it? You're surrounded by kids, you fucking idiot. <laughs> like, this, yes, this is you are not the target audience for this thing, <laughs> yeah, and you need to accept this. I know. You're surrounded by kids, and the ride is so gentle as to not make the children vomit. So why? Why? Uh, it's, Irony's only so fun, isn't it, guys? Oh, the fire alarm in my complex is going off. Like it does every couple of weeks. <laughs> Thereby, you know, making any alarming quality it may have rather moot. Yeah. yeah. And there's Will of the Wisp I'm Spider. I'm Grandma Spider. Let me shoot babies at you. Looking like a... Look, at, look it's just... Uh, yeah, you know, that's pretty... Uh... And that's the sound effect for the snowstorm. Oh, it's exactly the same sound as the volcanic eruption in Curse of Enchantia. I wonder if the same sound designer. <laughs> yeah, I think Merlin's got a good career ahead of him as some kind of beatbox artist. Some epic speedbox there. So, yeah, the, I mean, the walkthrough keeps saying use the mirror to distract the little spiders. And it doesn't do shit because it makes three of them and one of them comes after you, so. Right. Can, like, uh, can, can you not kill them? Um, uh, you sort of can, but it's 
So every time you shoot it, like, yeah, I thought you could shoot it multiple times at first, but after, I, I, I figure it out after a while, I just start bringing the snow and then alternating. Yeah, this is no way of getting a yeah. Just put like a trans track to the back of it. I'll just brush that death off my tunic. <laughs> I'm fine. And away we go. Just so, brush. Are you save state or something? Or no, like that's just where it puts you. That's just where it puts you. Yeah, death in this is meaningless. It's there's no threat to it. You just get put back to wherever like you entered that. That's surprisingly area. modern thinking for a snake game. <laughs> so what is the spider guarding? Um, uh, some shit. So, well, I would heart in a fucking flower, man. Well, that's a great motivation for <laughs> risking death there. Yeah. I'm after some shit. <laughs> uh, hey, you got some shit? I need some shit. Yeah, I'm just gonna take you shit. <laughs> yeah, the spider kind of looks like an R. Crumb illustration as well. God, R. Crumb's weird. <laughs> My dad had R. Crumb books just laying around when I was a kid. I remember seeing Fritz the Cat when I was like five. Nice. That's, yeah, that's, <laughs> not, not child friendly. Da, 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 da. So that that uh, cloak's not doing a lot of good against that snowy spell you got. I, I, I ain't got nothing. It's fucking useless. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I just want this to be over. Yeah, it's, he's had exactly too much rum. <laughs> well, you know, you should, you should keep going, like, push past that little envelope. There you go, see, and now I've killed all its children, it gets sad and goes away. Or gets happy and goes away. Damn you! <laughs> now take this valentine and go. I didn't even want to eat the chocolates in it. <laughs> Leave me alone, and now I have snow, I can kill ants. Of course. <laughs> that makes perfect sense, what are you talking about? <laughs> Wait, do those ants have four segments in their bodies? Probably. That's not how. That's not how ants work. That's not how anything works. Oh, well, you know, this is this is Britain. <laughs> Ar this Arthurian is, yeah, Britain. Arthurian Britain, like, where dragons and things. Actually, I think Merlin. I think he was supposed to have been born in Cornwall. <laughs> well, he, so he should have had a Cornish accent. <laughs> It'd be great to hear magical spells shouted like that. Yes. Rasbo Barabbas. <laughs> I'll put a I can't do a Cornish accent, I can't do accents. It's just like the farmer accent. I don't really have an accent, that's the thing. Like, I have what I like to call enunciated Australian, because, like, here's the thing. Everyone will say I sound... Irish will say I sound Canadian. Canadians will say I sound Irish. Um, locals tend to say I sound American. A Finnish girl once asked me what part of Finland I was from. How about that? People sometimes have real trouble placing my placing me. So and one time this group of girls at a bus stop went all the way around Europe without guessing it correctly. <laughs> I mean, it's... And people will say, like, when I say, no, I'm from Brisbane, I was born in the RBH, and it's like, you're lying. And it's like, yeah, <laughs> I'm lying about being born in Brisbane to make me seem more interesting and cool. That's, fuck yeah. I'm from this place. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, Brisbane is a place that exists. I'm a native. <laughs> yeah. <man. laughs> it it doesn't have the art and culture of Melbourne. It doesn't have the size and prestige of Sydney. But it does have... It's, it, is. It's, it has Brisbane. It has itself. Well, I don't get me wrong. I like it. I really like it because it's a place where you can exist comfortably on the yeah. bare minimum of effort yeah. with... No, what I've often said is that Brisbane yeah. is a nice yeah. place to live, yeah. but you wouldn't want to yeah. visit there. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I remember once meeting this guy from um, South Carolina who worked in like the Woolworths, and he had like his accent was like honey to listen to. It was brilliant. He had like that perfect South Carolina drawl, and you know we were kind of confused as to why you know like why are you here and he sort of looked around and just said uh dodging responsibility and i was just like yes yeah. welcome to brisbane sounds, you'll fit right the fuck in sounds about right <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah if you've ever wanted to dodge any responsibility whatsoever come to brisbane <laughs> yeah and then like <laughs> an entire city that just doesn't want to do anything really yeah come to fortitude valley the valley of fortitude sit at a bar and get drunk in the that's afternoon, how, no one cares. That's how I spend most of my Friday nights. <laughs> I, I, I stay making inside and do sit-ups and push-ups. Making, making soulful, terrified looks at every woman who walks in and never saying a <laughs> bloody word to them. It, 
<laughs> it's fishing with no bait. <laughs> it's great to watch. Yeah, that's me. Uh, oh, you know. These you... days I just wait to be seduced. <laughs> yeah, women need to get on that. Like, you got to be a little more proactive these days. But not too proactive, because then you'll creep me out. Oh, fuck it. Yeah. I'm okay with very proactive. Then just, like, thrust hotel room numbers at me. That's weird. <laughs> Please do that to me. I'd be okay with that. Just a, a little card that has sex? Question mark. And, and ideally underneath a little certificate from your last STI check. <laughs> anyway, back in Faffy Land. Mm. Where are we going now? Where the flowers go. <laughs> you're, you're, you're like fixating on that. <laughs> Says like, you know, Faffy Land gamer... Everything's been gay to you this entire I'm, fucking I'm not thing. the one who keeps going... It's the flowers that keep doing that, and you didn't believe me. Well, uh, you know, you keep going... Doo -ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo, but you don't repeat that. Stop making that sound. <laughs> You're not making this any more comfortable. <laughs> uh, back on anyway, the ground. Ba back in my ground vagina. <laughs> Ground vagina. Sounds like something you put on your toast. Uh, it's a Chinese herbal medicine. Yes, indeed. Helps relieve back pain. And it's your fan club again. <laughs> yeah, except they hate me now, so... Well... Like every woman. You abandoned them! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we where were their you? opinion of the matter. <laughs> we needed you. <laughs> uh, we loved you. How dare you just <laughs> bring illumination and wonder into our lives and then disappear. As suddenly as you derived. Well, I did tell you I was leaving the state at the start of all this, and that it wasn't really a relationship. You remember when I made you say that that's okay, right? You were gonna be our new <laughs> king. <laughs> we made you a hat. A hat. And this is like the random flowers just taking me places I don't want to be. Ah, oh, there's the fucking there, rainbow, thank Christ. The rainbow. <laughs> now let's uh, sock it our latest valentine. Yeah, and what do we get for our trouble? Is it a flower? No, we had, we, we had to get a flower for the valentine. Oh, right. Du, 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 du. A foxglove, I think. You're in love with a lot of things, aren't you? Hmm? You're a slut, young Merlin. You <laughs> fall in love with everything that passes you by. He's a man whore! You sniff every mermaid's milk. <laughs> you comb your hair for small flowers. Sniff every moment. You, milk. you need to figure out what where. That's a grotesque. You need to figure out commitment, young Nicole Williamson. <laughs> yeah. This is why Morgana was able to trick you. Milk. Uh, Morgana, she is a tricksy one. She is. Nice tits though. Anyway. Always does. Until she got speed aged at the end of Excalibur. Mm -hmm. That was weird. It's been a while since I've seen Excalibur, actually. Well, you should watch it again. Yay! It's got the Gotadamarung. I'm going to download the Gotadamarung and use it for the connecting bits at the start and end of each of these videos. <laughs> and find a picture of Nicole Williamson looking surprised. <laughs> uh, it is funny that nobody really... Like, I, I'm... No, I will literally do that. Oh, good. That'll be fun. That's something for me to look forward to, then. That's a little surprise at the end. But it'll only be revealed in this bit that I just said. There'll have been two videos up to this point, because I'm probably going to split this into three. And everyone will have wondered why I put a picture of Nicole Williamson at the, at the end of both the videos. <laughs> and now you'll know. <laughs> Mystery solved. Well, I, I hope it was as thrilling and interesting as the end to Lost. It's like implanting a little time capsule. <laughs> Foreshadowing. Oh, what is it? Post-shadowy. Explainy. Oh, who even cares anymore? Yeah. See, so, yeah, now I can stop time, I can keep the thing open, and I can walk through. Nice. Yeah. Classic puzzle solving. And, and now I pick up a valentine and a flower and have to immediately go back to where I was just a second ago. I'm going to put the valentine and the flower next to each other. I think they're getting as bored of yeah, this as we are. That's, that's literally it's like, we could. Nope, fuck it. They're going <laughs> right next to each other. Let's just get this over with. Yeah, I think we've made our point. Yeah, it is kind of terrible when you can really spot those moments in games, like the gun thing in Dreamweb, where it's just like, <laughs> yeah. shoot, everything's the solution now. I'm going home. Mm, yes, indeed. <laughs> I'm tired of looking at you. I don't want to make this game anymore. Let's just shoot everything. Yeah. We blew our load, like, 
<laughs> animating yeah. a naked prostitute. <laughs> and the laser whip. Yeah, we've all jerked off to it, and now we're kind of tired and sleepy, and we don't really want to continue to do this much. This is slowly turning into the five doctors of Let's Plays. It's just this one thing is so boring, where we're just going back over other funs, <laughs> other yeah. anecdotes. Do you remember the time? This is turning into our flashback episode. Yes. We should uh. have the little, like, sound effects. And <laughs> a, a little, little fluttering harp, harp yeah. little fluttering harp string sound effects. <laughs> and, uh, we'll go back to that clip from the Dreamweb episode. <laughs> Except things will be subtly different. Yeah, we'll just make everything slightly more different. And we'll like we'll we'll be played by like professional voice actors doing really manly cool voices. <laughs> 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 yes. We'll have like Nolan North mm. and Steve Blum <laughs> doing their best grizzled accents. My name's Thud Gore Meat Wallop. Have you won now? No. Lightning. <laughs> and the uh, adding her usual pearl of wisdom, yeah. Lady of the Lake then vanished. That isn't a joke either. There used to be this kind of old meth prostitute that wandered around in like the one dress she had, which was this light blue long thing from probably back when she was a hippie. And she'd just mutter, like just. <laughs> Oh, you are now a human Jacob's Ladder. Fuck yeah. I'm like a, you know, that video, Arc Attack. I'm, Arc now, I'm now going to apply for Arc Attack. Arc Attack? Yeah, haven't you seen that? No. Uh, they're people that use Tesla coils to make music. Okay. It's really cool. So it's like Stomp, but with... Lightning. With lightning. And just because of that, infinitely more interesting than Stomp. Nifty. Yeah. Hmm. So do we yeah, want that's to see to YouTube the YouTube later. Do we want to see the people using bins as percussion, <laughs> or the people use commanding the lightning. very element of lightning to dance for us? Dance lightning. Uh, it's not a bag out stomp. I mean, stomp was really interesting, like in 1991. Hmm. Now I can just fucking rain lightning down. Tesla coils. <laughs> Zap. Fuck you, ants. Yes. The ants are the enemies of... The Lightning. <laughs> ants are the enemies of Thor. Ant-Man and Thor never got along. Thor. Thor. Hey, Thor. Thor. <laughs> we hold these truths to be self-evident. Thor. <laughs> it is... It's such a... It's one of those... It's... Uh, uh, my... First experience with American people, like firsthand, was like, I used to do. I used to do wrestling at the PCYC, and we had at basic, the what? At uh, the Police Citizens Youth Club. So, oh. so the big sports thing down at. I was going to guess politically correct Yahtzee crotch. Genius. Continue. <laughs> Gonna let that linger for a while. Um, but uh, yeah, so I used to do wrestling down there, and basically one day we had a big pile of American stereotypes show up. And for our uh, American listeners, it was, like, state representatives from, like, every, like, all these states in this in America for wrestling. So it's like, imagine you're wrestling people in high school, it was them. And it was, it was just a microcosm of every negative American stereotype I've ever seen. Like, for starters, everybody picked on Texas. And... That was two people that they just collectively referred to as Texas, yeah. including the teachers and organizers. They just look over at these two <laughs> kids and go, hey, Texas, make yourself useful and get some mats. It's like being like, in the army, isn't it? <laughs> it was insane. Like, this is my first experience of like, holy shit, this, this is like, people behave like this. I like how you told that anecdote over Merlin fighting a dragon, which was the most interesting thing to have happened in It wasn't. Hours. It really wasn't. You froze it, you went behind it, and you hit it with lightning. Dragon man, who turned into a crypt entrance. But, uh, yeah, there was a guy called Bennett who I hit it off with because he was talking about how you could buy, like, weed paraphernalia here, so he was trying to buy a pipe and smuggle it back to the States. <laughs> and then he was he was going around just pointing at people and talking to me about them, and he was putting on their regional accent whenever, like, he did. So he just points at this guy and goes, that's Hulk from North Dakota. She's a <laughs> slut. <laughs> and I'm just like... <laughs> and, yeah, you'd get these fucking insane accents, like, just things where you look at him and it's like, wow, it's like... Surely that's effort to talk like that. Like, surely that's a thing that you have to do consciously. <laughs> no, just perfectly natural regional fucking accents. Because Australia doesn't really have enough of a population to get that level of regionalized. Nah, it's always just you can hardly detect it or bogan can't. Yeah, well, there's there's two types of bogan. There's northern bogan and southern bogan. And northern bogan looks like Beavis, 
and has like the nose like they've smelt something acrid <laughs> constantly yeah and it's this real nasal like ah, yeah, yeah. it's like all high yeah. A vowels yeah. and then there's a southern bogan that's more back of the throat and it sounds like they're constantly swearing at you around a dick in their mouth things are looking a bit climactic right now yeah we're getting climactic so you see that I use the mirror to get through the mirror clever ah. oh and is that your first love interest uh, no the that's the beard now. dude and I accidentally used the brush <laughs> well that's what I meant <laughs> Who doesn't... Uh, yeah. I guess spiders aren't as open to seduction. No. So yeah, so you walk up to a mirror, and you're like, how do I get on the other side of the mirror? And still, you use the mirror, and you go... Bing! Still, why would combing be seductive? Surely that's something that's usually a precursor to seduction, yeah. not the actual seduction itself. It's like, mm, look at me groom myself. Great, it I suppose. You should have just, like, fluttered two tickets to Paris or something. <laughs> I've got two tickets. Ah, here's the Champs Elysees. Two so beautiful Paris. this time of year, no? So it's the same. So freeze, star, freeze, star. Freeze the spider because spiders hate eyes. <laughs> That's one of their well known characteristics. One of their well known weaknesses, except for the New Zealand frost spider. This is like retards Pokemon from, <laughs> from Bizarro Land. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, this is. Like I say, it does, does, does not do action well. Yeah. You see what I mean? Like, the spiders just vanish, like, and then there's, like, a really choppy... Oh shit! Yeah, except now, They're like, this like, time oh, he's we're, got... Weren't prepared for this. Yeah, he's got, got nowhere to run. So you're now they are beating spiders out of him. Yeah, I gotta... That's the dramatic fucking snow music. Right. Listen. See? Barely hear it. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> it's just uh, that's worse than the f like you know wing fluttering in um, Curse Kiss. of Enchantia. Kiss. No, that's the okay. You can fuck my daughter. Handshake. Uh, I noticed he didn't look you in the eye. Or yeah, well, you, you can't look someone in the eye when you tell. Them. Here, drink this. <laughs> I promise I didn't put a roofie in it. Yeah. And now he's raising the roof. I have gone to so much effort to never, was that never see the parents of people I'm having sex with. What was the hand gesture? It was like he was saying, all right, turn it down. Yeah, he's like, yeah, you can take her to bed. Just don't fucking do it while I'm at home. Just... Listen, oh, I can't make no promises, Mr. Beardy Man. <laughs> I will bring it. Oh, yeah, I love what that. Like, yeah! That? <laughs> fucking... Yeah, I'm getting some tonight. Yeah, awesome. But will it be the lady or the beard? Beard. Molestro. Perhaps he could, I could literally use him as a beard. <laughs> no, that doesn't make sense, does it? Because no. beard, beards are ladies, aren't they? Yeah. Because they like they disguise homosexual activity. Disguise. They're like the smoke bomb of bum sex. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm gonna. I know I've been caught doing sodomy, woman. You know what? I'm gonna call the videos that smoke bomb of bum sex one of three, <laughs> smoke, smoke bomb of bum sex two of three. There's gotta be a lot of like pantsless, disappointed people by the end of these videos. <laughs> like, hey, I watched these all the way through. You guys are liars. Is it really gonna get any better in this video than the women are the smoke bomb of bum sex? I don't think it will. <laughs> uh, I don't think most people's lives are gonna get better than that one line. And there's Chime being kept captive by a fucking pig thing. Pig cop. Uh, yes, the pigs have come back in with the podcast. <sighs> yeah, and here's me realizing I'm not actually doing any damage to it. <laughs> Just... What are you supposed to be doing then? I'm fucking hitting it with the stun dust again. Uh... Here's me fucking racing through my inventory trying to find my stun dust amidst all the use fucking crap I've collected over this okay. and then die uh... even after stunning them yeah you're a legend making useless nice aren't you <laughs> young Merlin not very useful ow I like how it's ow and not ah there's a fucking axe in my head Skull axes hurt. Pull it out! Unless you think the blood loss will kill me faster. Yeah, I was gonna say, don't, don't pull it out, okay? If there's something wedged in somebody, you leave that there until paramedics arrive. That's the first aid rule. Yeah, just try not to turn around too fast, because you might bash people in the head with the hilt. <laughs> it's like that thing in a... Back in the 90s when MTV used to be where all the awesome animation lived before they became a dearth of reality TV and sadness, and they used to show things like uh, the Max and the Head. You know, they used to be about 
music, I hesitate to say. Mm. Well, I mean, they went from music in the 80s to, like, some somehow in the 90s, they just became where awesome animation lived. And it started off with uh, Liquid Television, which, if you haven't seen anything that was on Liquid Television, go to YouTube right now and just YouTube Liquid Television. Everything you will see is fucking insane. He saved your favorite friend. Yep. Yeah. Da -da, yeah. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Not Zelda song. I'm just imagining him, like, Carrying a massive electric guitar as he leaps through the archway. <laughs> Falls to one knee and lets out a classic riff. Power metal, man. Gotta, gotta get some power metal. Oh, fuck you, minecart. This is the last we'll see of you. Ball. Ball. <laughs> just, just ball. <laughs> yeah. That ball's going, why don't I have any friends? <laughs> Nobody loves me. Oh. So now we'll be rescuing Getafix, am I right? Ooh, yes. Because you're obviously going to save the lady first, because you won't give a shit about Getafix <laughs> <so> once, you, <laughs> once you get in your end away, son. I know, I know. Why am I still here? Oh, you saved the girl first. Well, fuck you too, then. You're off the Christmas list, you Hello. shit. Hello. Yep. And he's go. been jizzed to the wall, alien style, so he can go, kill me, and I whack him in the face it's with a star. It's not jizz, it's snot. Why would you say it was jizz? You got jizz on the brain. <laughs> it sounds like that might cause some damage. Yeah, I'm what? sure it does. You ever try to jack the... off with an infection? Don't Actually, I tried to jack off with a splitting headache once, <laughs> and seriously, it is one of the most painful things I have ever experienced. Don't get jizz on the brain. Wipe that shit off before <laughs> it soaks in. It never cleans out. <laughs> I, I one time ejaculated into a girl's handbag, and back Don't I... <laughs> tell me about your ejaculation stories. Well, okay. Bear in mind, I this wasn't like it... you know, I wasn't at the shopping center. I didn't just run up and go <laughs> like, and like the thing was too, like she was giving me a handjob, so it was like she was in charge, and I warned her. And Gabe, she's Gabe, just... Gabe, 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 are you familiar with the rule, always think twice before you tell the internet anything? I don't care. Do you really want your entire rest of your life people searching and being able to find this about you? I've told the story in person, I'm not worried. Well, this isn't in person, this is on the <laughs> internet. This is in person to about 50,000 people. Yeah, 50,000 people whose opinions don't matter. I do not want to, well, if, <laughs> even if you don't yeah, care about Yeah, take that, them, viewers. Even if you don't Can care about... get all, like, fucking rock star on you and not like you for liking that stuff. Even if you do not care about the viewers, I personally do not want to hear about any stories involving liquids coming out of or near from oh, you. Come on, ejaculation stories are hilarious, especially when it goes places it's not supposed to. <laughs> you just keep your ejaculate to yourself, all right. <laughs> I try. Speaking of which... Yeah. Yeah, now he's been... de, de, de snotted And he goes, and gives me health back. Ooh, jazz hands. <laughs> Mammy! The jazz hands of health. The oh, black it's... flags with the red eye in the background are like, really out of place level sinister. Yeah, I was just wondering about that. It seems a bit <laughs> Zelda-y. Uh. Da 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 I did he snotted get it fixed na, na, na. And now to get lucky Yeah and now to boogie on over to the last boss. Well you remember I gotta fight Ganon's fat neck bearded, you know, cousin first. Of course. He does, he like it it took me until I was watching some of the um edit and I was like, holy shit, it just looks like fat neck beard Ganon. I think I know him. <laughs> We all do. I think he asked to shake my hand once. It <laughs> of was, course he did. It was a bit greasy. What was then when he you were doing the game damage thing and there was a guy in the costume of the character from his unpublished novel? Yeah. <laughs> That's an interesting choice of cosplay. I just... Uh... Do you think these people say to themselves, I wonder who will guess, guess it? I don't know, man. I think people <sighs> should try and have more self-esteem. She wasn't even locked up. No, nah, she's, she's still not locked up. Look, that, that is that's that's retard Ganon. Well, I guess that's neckbeard only in the sense that it's also oh. everything beard. Well, I mean neckbeard in more of the derogatory term and not the uh, uh, you, you know, you specific description. You suspect he posts YouTube webcam videos talking about his favorite cat girl animes, do you? Yeah. And then, you know, posts other ones where, you know, he talks about how men get raped too and stuff. And he only wears that little crown just after he's jerked off. <laughs> That's his reward. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I got this earring so people would think I was interesting. <laughs> Wait till you see my tattoo. Everyone talks about my brother. Shut up. I've got magic too. Look, eyeballs. 
And then he sends out some thing. Oh, that's right. He turns into his true form. Which is... Uh, I'm, uh, I'm underwhelmed. Yeah. Little suicide bomber meanies. And you'll make... What... <laughs> This is one of those ones, like, it's one of those games where the animations oh, make th you external to the universe, so you can just dodge stuff, like, watch, I'll use the balloon. Oh, you, you got yeah. invisibility frames. Yeah, well, like, just loads of them. If you're doing anything, you're invincible. And now it's dark. Yeah, you had to light the match after that, otherwise he just insta-kills you. In what way are you defeating him? Um, it's just I'm making him go through attacks. You just have to wait him out? Yeah. that's You have to wait him out until he gets bored of doing these attacks, and then you have to, uh... No, that doesn't seem like what you're supposed to do. Yeah, I know it doesn't, and yet, here we are. I mean, are you just supposed to avoid it or something? Yeah. Well, you didn't even defeat the guy. No, but... Oh, very Yeah, now I... Okay, so this, this item fires randomly. Right. Like, not, like, in time. Like, you pick when it fires, but it just shoots off in weird directions, so you've got no way of controlling it. So this is me just waiting for it to recharge, and then going, all right... You just have and to then that happened, the and then, best, yes. yeah, I've got no idea how it hit him and didn't do anything, or where his point of clipping is, cause... What have we said about randomness and game design? Yeah... Not, then here we go again! Not... Power of love! Yeah! <laughs> Miss! Yeah, randomness and game <laughs> just... design, not friendly bedfellows, not like me and David Bowie. <laughs> Someone needs to at least photoshop a picture of you with, no, like, the Ziggy Stardust, like, face don't paint. Don't do that. <laughs> just, come, on, just, come on, YouTube, you can do it. <laughs> just do a picture of... What was the other thing we did? You the, making the out with Bowie? No, the bum sex reference. <laughs> you having bum sex with Bowie? No! <laughs> yes, You yes. know what I mean. This I is for... such good ideas, Yahtzee. I've forgotten it now. But... <laughs> it's because you're thinking about bum sex with Bowie. We were saying that women have the smoke bomb of bum sex. That was smoke it. Bomb bum Someone sex. draw a picture of the bum... <laughs> the smoke bomb of bum... I don't even care anymore. You know <laughs> I'll just draw a picture of uh, the, uh, the hat. That'll do. <laughs> the smoke bomb of bum sex. How will you draw that precisely? Um, Actually, well, no, that's, no, the cha that's, that's their the challenge. challenge. Yeah, we'll leave it up to them. How will you depict that? <laughs> yeah. Let's combine the four animations he has for a dance. Nicole Williamson wouldn't do that. <laughs> now, fuck. That's not fucking. Don't fuck while he's there. <laughs> that would be weird. Well, well there's, there's a, there's, there's some guys up there. Is this yeah. A... Look out! Look out! Let's stand back to back. You can fuck Chuck Norris's daughter. It's okay. Thank you, Chuck Norris. I will enjoy fucking your daughter. Norris. Let's get it fixed. Um, I'm pretty sure he shows up in a second and has a beard. Are we gonna like pay off this brick joke? I thought they weren't for ages. There they go. Well, that was underwhelming. It was all a dream. That was doubly underwhelming. <laughs> Question mark, thought Merlin. <laughs> Stroke, thought me. Ah, but wait, he dropped the locket, so maybe it wasn't all a dream. And then a thing appeared, kicked him and took it. Get little credits. That is the worst Merlin. <laughs> I know. Like, there's not a lot Merlin-y about it, really. <laughs> Thank you, Louis Castle. <laughs> Well, can't Joseph exactly just be Hewitt the Fourth. That's well, a fake name. Bullshit. Well, I can't exactly design a f design a sci-fi game when my name's Castle, can I? <laughs> Barry Green. This game was very much so. Yes. Uh, I'm, I like to imagine Cindy D. Chin either has. That sounds like a porn star name. Again, these are sounding fake. Either she doesn't have one, or she has a really, really massive one. That's <laughs> the only way in which one is named Chin. Glenn Sperry. I will accept no other circumstance. Quality assurance by people who don't know what those words mean. See, William Backer, if you just took off the William part, he sounds like uh, one of the Ferengis from Star Trek. <laughs> Acquisition! Greg Hjelstrom. Hjelstrom is displeased. Hjelstrom <laughs> will smite you. And yeah, look, box design, you know, things that just don't get mentioned in credits much, like <laughs> booklet design. I kind of do miss... Eric... Get Hellsman away from me, he's a very harsh man. <laughs> Manual edit. There's way too many names for this. I know, this right? It's... This does seem like a sort of design by committee sort of thing. No one's called Sperry. Fuck off. There's a weird name in the special thing. Yeah, Neil Young. <laughs> well, I hope he will remember. For providing the soundtrack to the, uh, you know, design of this game. Maybe they just, yeah, just listen to, to a load of Neil Young. Yeah, there's worst things you can do. Kunkle. Dedicated to the memory of Joseph J. Jones. JJJ? J. J. Yeah. Again, that sounds like a fake name. I think I can see why he killed himself. 
I'm just suicide is painless. And then people stop calling you JJJ and making jokes about Peter Parker getting those pictures. Yeah, more like gay Jonah Jameson. Lol. <laughs> Faffy Jonah Jameson, you mean? <laughs> the end. It always bothers me with underlines. Should you underline the space as well or not? Because they both look kind of weird to me. Mm. Well, I, don't, I don't. Why underline the end at all, really? Well, well, just to underline the fact that it's the end. Uh, I suppose a big pair of letters doesn't really. It has very. It has quite literally drawn a line under this experience. <laughs> and now we can all move on. Yeah, yeah. Back in 1993, that was considered a fun game. That's that's how far we've come. I want well to know that. I doubt that <laughs> because Not... there are a lot of games we still remember from 1993 because they were fun, like Super Mario World. Well, no yeah. one fucking remembers Young, Young Merlin. Merlin. No, well, I mean, People after remember you got Super done Mario playing World. all the actually good games, these were like your, your, you know, your B and C level sort of. You would never get done playing all the actual good games from the past because nostalgia has blinded me again. <laughs> A lot of them do not hold up, no, because I, I downloaded one of those things when I was getting this, I got, like, every SNES ROM ever, and I'm like, I'll go for a trip down memory lane, that'll be fun. Why, nope. would, you, why would you do that? Because <laughs> it was there. Because I used to pay, like, you know, $70 for these things, and now I can get them all for free. Well, uh, well, you won't appreciate them now they're free, will you? You'll play each one for, like, five seconds. You won't have, Some... that, mi you won't have that mindset where you'll be like, I have to like this, I spent money, <laughs> I have to convince myself this was a good idea. This, yeah, this was my birthday present, I have to, I wanted this. <laughs> What's that? Somebody said Nintendo's actually shit. <laughs> I'd better blindly defend them because mum's not buying me another console. Mm. Uh, I love it when people, like, attach their self-esteem to retarded things. And commercial electronics is one of my favorites. <laughs> I have Apple products. Eh. I like Sony or Nintendo. Eh. It's like, have self-esteem. Like, just fucking do it. Like, yes, well, so few people do anything worthwhile these days. You've got to latch onto something. Well, I mean, you know, when the value the of anything is relative. When was the last person you've met who climbed Everest or built a house with their own two hands? <laughs> Honestly, I'm not that interested in Everest climbing. Like, a lot of people have done that now. You know, I don't think there's much to look at once you get to the top. It's uh, pretty much just a load of clouds. I mean, there's, there's a fine line between a challenge that's valid and interesting and a challenge that's just fucking annoying. Like, you could walk from one side of Brisbane to the other with, like, porcupine fucking earrings it's not it's a challenge but is it you know is it good to do yeah. well the porcupines probably wouldn't think so they could use the kidneys that'd be fine they just curl up into a ball and just poke you then they get to see the world yeah echidnas are weird have you seen the echidna's penis it has five openings does it have knuckles on them <laughs> it does look like a fist because of the five openings it's weird I have heard with... Echidna is one of the few egg-laying mammals, apparently. Uh, yeah, it and um, the platypus, which the platypus is also the world's only naturally venomous mammal. I have heard that. It's got a little... They males have... have a little barb. Yeah, they have venomous paws. Which is weird. Well. This has been Yahtzee and Gabriel with your guide to Australian fauna. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Good night, uh... everybody. Merry Christmas, by the way. Yep, see you again in five months. Yes. Well, not that much time because I am competent at putting videos together. I have other hobbies. Okay, I do push-ups. Yeah, and you jerk off. A lot.